Hello and welcome to The Loop on Location. I'm Matt Bruding. And I'm Erin Frizz, and this week we're in District 2, which is home to eight counties in Northwest Ohio. There are approximately 3,833 lane miles of highway, 950 bridges, and about 6,000 culverts in District 2. One of the biggest tourist destinations in Ohio is right here along Lake Erie and Port Clinton. This is the Port Clinton lift bridge that carries State Route 163 across the Portage River. A $12.9 million major rehabilitation project began last October. We're not far from Cedar Point, Kelly's Island, and Put-in Bay. Since it's an important link during the summer tourism season, we scheduled most of the work during the winter. Work should wrap up here next month. Well, weather permitting. Unfortunately, Mother Nature caused some issues on another vital link for summer tourism season, so we're making an emergency slip repair here on State Route 2. Thankfully, we caught the slip early and were able to close off this area, but the needed repairs were extensive, and to do it right takes time. Early estimates would have had this area closed off until August, but we're working with our contractors to get this reopened sometime next month. We're also planning to temporarily open this ramp to State Route 269 for the Memorial Day holiday weekend. This is the Anthony Wayne Bridge, also known as the High Level Bridge in Toledo. This is the only suspension bridge in ODOT's system. We're working on a first of its kind project to add a dehumidifying system to preserve the suspension cables on this bridge. Part of this project is to add decorative lighting to the bridge. That's being funded through private donations, an effort headed up by the Toledo Arts Commission. Eventually, this lighting system will be linked to the new lighting system that's coming to the Veterans Glass City Skyway. Curvy rural roads without much lighting, well, they can be troublesome to navigate, especially if you've never driven on that specific route. So as part of ODOT's high-risk rural road program, engineers and safety experts, such as my man, Chris Rotterfield, Thanks for the hat, bro. Are currently testing these cool solar powered LED RPMs, light emitting road markers on pavement and guardrail at State Route 65 between State Route 235 and Brillhart Road to improve visibility on this two lane curvy stretch of rural highway. Installed last fall, the goal is to evaluate the device's durability, visibility compared to traditional reflectors, and overall effectiveness, especially in foggy and rainy conditions. We also have another test location in Northeast Columbiana County at the rural intersection with no street lighting. Ultimately, this is just another device in our toolbox to improve safety on rural roads. But remember, the best way to stay safe on rural highways is to pay attention to the warning signs and speed limit signs. So please, slow down. Who knew? Hey, everyone knows ODOT is a great place to work. And one of those reasons is our amazing people. Here at District 2, they found an interesting and cool way to tap into that great resource. District 2 recently introduced the SMILE Award, which is a peer-to-peer -peer recognition program that allows employees to recognize one another for their hard work and or for a generally positive attitude. Since the program was introduced, we've already had over 25 submissions for SMILE Awards. These boxes were placed in all of our facilities throughout District 2. This is where someone would put their SMILE Award, or if they have a new idea that they would like to contribute, they can also put it into the Idea Club box. Both of these programs allow our employees to make our District 2 better. Get more ODOT news online at transportation.ohio.gov. Check us out on social media. And we always love those great ideas and feedback to loop at dot.ohio.gov. Anybody know where I can get some good chocolate chip cookies around here? Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> Matt's! And now, you're in the